All righty, here in the country I was born in, we have a 220-240, and this is a disconnect for a 220-240 volt uh, uh, appliance, and I'm going to show you how to wire it for a uh, for our conductors. Okay, so first we'll take our get our wires separated here and out of our way. We have a red, which is live, the black, which is live, the white, which is neutral, and a ground, and we'll do the same thing down here. Our red, our white, our black, and our ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook our grounds up first. We'll go down to the bottom here, and we'll come up. We'll put our ground in our ground terminal here. We'll make sure it's up in all the way here. So we'll push it back, get out of our way here. Okay, now we'll bring our uh, ground from the power source down. Come over, we'll bring it over to the corner, bend it, bring it down, come around, and we'll bring it up right into this one. Oh, how lovely. I don't have my needle on us, but you know what? I just praise the Heavenly Father. I just praise Him for my forgetfulness. I don't curse his name, I just praise the name of Jehovah. Okay, we make sure it's up in our slot all the way. So connect, tighten it up. We'll put our green wire, green bonding screw in here. This bonds, grounds it to the box. Okay, now we can take our white wires and we'll bring it over here to the corner, bring it down, bring this one back to this corner here, I'll bring it down, thank you Heavenly Father for my forgetfulness, it's a challenge, not a frustration, strip with our number 10 hole, line our wires up, make sure they're even, clip them so they're even, Okay, get them even like that, put our wire nut on, like that, fold them back into our box like that. Okay, now we can hook our power wires up. Strip with our number 10 hole. Put it in the top. This is our power coming in. Put it back out of our way. Do the same with our black wire. Bring it over. Bring it up. Bring it down over here. Here, strip with our number 10 hole, get in the terminal up here, okay now we can hook our doesn't matter if you reverse them there, because it's 240, it's 120 lined ground, or lined neutral. So it's not going to make any difference if you... Uh... Okay, so we'll keep our, for cosmetic purposes, we'll keep our red and black on the same side. Push it back. 
We'll do the same with our black wire over here. Bend it so it comes up. Get a nice screw there. It's a little bit long. Cut it off some. You want to look and make sure that you get your, your wire up in the hole all the way there. Make sure you don't get the insulation into the terminal. And that is how to hook it up. We'll just look, make sure our copper is a, below this Bakelite or even with the Bakelite, just with the bottom of the Bakelite there. I'm going to push this one down a little bit. It's up a little high. So we'll take it out. And we can just clip it. Make sure our insulation is down below the uh, and get make sure it's tight. Get our wires back. This is number 10 American wire gauge. We use a 30 amp fuse with number 10. It's number 12, which is a 20 amp fuse, and most generally it'd be orange on the inside. See how these are green? All righty, so that is how to wire a disconnect for a 220, 240 volt. Uh, fixed appliance here in the country I was born in. Pull this handle down is off. Push the handle up is on. And uh, you have a little hole here so you can close the box. You can put a padlock in here. If you have to turn it off, you can put a padlock through there and lock it out. And that'll be like a lockout safety. Tag out, lock out, tag out, safety. Peace. Thanks for watching.